Hello everyone and welcome to YesToChristmas.com, well, the official Christmas business directory. Let's take a quick look around here and eventually I'm going to show you how to create a business listing on this website for only $49.95 and a Christmas club membership for only $10. Uh, and all of this is only per year. So let's go, let's see what uh, Yes to Christmas is all about. If you read over here, the Christmas business directory, this is a Christmas business directory and only businesses that agree to decorate their place of business during the Christmas holidays can list their businesses here. In the mood to eat out, you can now search for your local restaurant or your local hardware store or the auto mechanic store that decorates for Christmas. Search using city, state, and zip code and or keyword. Visit these businesses and support Christmas. So now you know that you've got a business directory for Christmas so that you know who is decorating and then uh, you can visit these businesses and continue in the Christmas spirit. All right, so let's try and let's begin and create a business listing. So you come here and click there. It says right there. The next thing you do is you start inputting your information. So I'm going to start putting mine. There's a password. Put in my, uh, retype the password. Then I'm going to put my name, write in my name. Then I'm going to write in the address. There's the address I'm typing. I am in Florida. And then I am right now in Miami. So let's look for Miami over here and click it. There we are. And then the zip code is going to be 33186. The phone number is let's see this one here and the website is going to be www.etoscience.com click submit and you're on your way okay let's see what did i do wrong oh i must agree with the terms and conditions all right so what terms are you going to be agreeing to three things that you need to do to uh, uh, if you're a business and you would like to list your business in this directory first of all you click business here okay and then you fill everything out like I did and then you click agree with the terms and conditions those are three things one you must put up a Christmas tree in your place of business number two a Christmas uh, a Merry Christmas sign somewhere in the business and third uh, the third is oh decorate for Christmas very simple okay so then you click submit and see it says your account has been created successfully we sent an activation link to your email address so now let's go to the email address and let's uh, see what etoscience.com like that let's sign in now let's go see what the email that Welcome. the system has sent us says okay so we'll start with this one here info activate your Christmas account beautiful there it is. So let's see what it says. You have one remaining step before your Yes to Christmas account is ready to go. All right. So you can do two things. You can either active, uh, click on this link. But if that link for any reason does not work on your email address, then all you need to do is highlight this, right click, copy and place it right here on the address bar and then click to go and it will take you there. But since mine works, I'm going to click on the validation link. Okay, and here we are. It has taken you back to this screen, which is where you would sign in. So let's go back to Yes to Christmas and let me show you. Click here, Yes to Christmas. Now you would go to the login up here every time you want to come into your back page, your admin page. So you click there and you're back here to the same page. So now you type in your ETO science at AOL.com. There's your password that you uh, created when you signed up just a second ago sign me in automatically I'll do that and then log in and this will take you back to your home page notice that it took you this is your backlink your uh, administration page so now you've got here managed you can add your advertising here and you can pay for the 49.95 here you can also do this you can go to add your listing and go to manage your ad or if you've already created an ad or you can click here to add an ad so either here add an ad or here add an ad either way it's, it's okay once you add the uh, you make your ad you can always come here to add your listing and click manage ad now if you've got multiple stores and you want to add several the uh, ads then you would click add create your ad 
and submit it and then come back over here to add your listing add your second ad etc and you pay as you go or you wait to pay it uh, at the end okay so let's um, add to create an ad all right the ad will be called right here uh, the listing will be um, e t o science dot com that'll be the name of my uh, ad, uh, of the business the contact name will be myself there it is email address will be eto uh, see eto science at aol dot com eto science at aol dot com and then the website would be www eto science dot com very simple all right, the phone will be like the uh, last one, so the, we're just gonna write that, and then the next, the fax would be this right there, and then we're gonna go to a code. This is very important right here, the code. You're, if, you, uh, if, if you worked with a salesperson, they gave you a code, this is where the, co where the code goes. You would write it right here, okay? But if you did not have a, uh, a salesperson and you came across this by word of mouth or on the website or any other way other than a salesperson then the code you will always use is Santa otherwise put in the code that your salesperson gives you next you will write your uh, uh, your address uh, zip code will be 33186 and the country of course is the United States here and the state will be Florida and the city we're going to look for Miami let's see it should be around there it is Miami okay the next thing you want to do is upload images and the hit this is where you do it you click here you go to browse and you should have these images already set up in your uh, in your hard drive create a folder and save all of your images so that you can upload them here so I'm going to choose let's see uh, let's go to my documents I'm gonna go to the folder I created with ETO science there it is alright so I'm going to choose let's say this front page uh, picture right here how's that and then click submit and there's your picture right there now you can put in you can upload several images not just one that way when if you have several like maybe six or seven you can create a slideshow so let's just add another one Go to browse go back over here and just for uh just to add a picture i'm just going to choose this one here submit and let's see there's the next picture and i'm going to upload one more just so that you can see what a uh, slideshow looks like once we are uh, live okay so you've uploaded your, your the pictures right here the next thing you want to do is uh embed a code if you if for example, if you have a video that you would like to upload, this is where you do it. The best way of doing it is to put your video onto or upload it onto YouTube. And from YouTube, you can get the embedded code and you would put the embedded code there. So let's just pick any random video from YouTube. Okay. And let's come over here. All right. Since this is a science website, I'm just going to click biology. I'm going to write in biology and see what comes up and just choose a video uh, randomly okay so I'm gonna choose this one carbon we'll click here and there's your video now all you need to do is right click and see where it says copy embedded code click there now you've embedded the code therefore you come over here right click paste and that's your code now notice that the width of it is 640 and the height is 360 the width cannot be 640 it should be 325 so just change it and you will be fine now go over here to the source now you by the way you're done with your video that will show perfectly when you submit the site next let's go to the source here this is an attachment if you have coupons or anything that you would like to uh, have your customers download this is where you will put it in this case I'm going to put in a coupon so this is a coupon that I already wrote I uh, had done previously and it was on my hard drive all I did was bring it back in here okay let me show you again I, I went onto the folder that I created on my hard drive and I created a coupon ahead of time 
and all I'm going to do is double click and there it is. Okay, now you're ready for your summary. Let's go to etoscience.com and just take in a little summary and paste it there. Okay, here's the website. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to right click and copy and I'm going to go back here to the same one, right click and copy and there's my little summary. Now I'm going to write a description, but for the description, I'm not going to go into ETO science here. I'm just going to go uh, online and let's say uh, research science just so I can get better uh, information. Let's say science news. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'd like to show you how to copy and paste right into, uh, right into, where are we? Right into right into here okay that's two seconds it's taking too long so let's choose a different site how about this one okay so we're here all right so let's choose any story how about this story here evolving hold their breath all right so hopefully it'll take us there rather quickly here we are all right so here it is now here's the very fun thing about this all you need to do is grab here Highlight all, including that picture, and keep going down if you would like all this there. And then over the blue, right click and copy. And go back to here, right click and paste. And it should, uh, well, it says, because your browser security settings, the editor is not able to access your clipboard data directly. So therefore, this one does it. So you would have to paste it here and say OK. And boom, look at this. Everything is there just as you copied it, including the picture, etc. So that's going to look really nice on your site. The next thing you want to do is scroll down and let's add some keywords. The keywords are great so that your customers can find you. So in this case, I'm going to write science, I'm going to write biology, I'm going to write ETO, science, and let's say, let's just write the name of the business, ETO science.com. And I'm also going to write ETO for uh, a keyword and uh, well I guess that's it those are your keywords in your case if you have an auto part store then you would write your keywords for auto part stores like auto part car repair car and stuff stuff like that okay so then scroll down now you're going to choose a category from which the, to uh, put your business in so that it's just another way of having people find you so in this case uh, if you look through here and you do not find a category send us an email go ahead don't worry about this and then you can click submit and then you go ahead and and uh, your your site will go listing will go live after you pay for you process your payment but you can always come back here and add a, a category in case yours is not here so what you would do is email us at yes to Christmas at AOL.com and tell us the category that you would like to be added to here we will add it and then you can always come back into your admin page and add your category all right so for our case let's see if i can find one okay community uh no we're not a church so let's see how about education and training yeah there we go schools so we'll add here and it'll tell you successfully added go down here and you'll see that under categories you've added school then you click submit and you sh your ad should be complete okay Notice now that it is complete. It says etoscience.com, but it says pending. If you want it to go live, you've got to pay. So let's go to pay now. You click here, and then you've got some information that it will tell you there. So click there, and it says pay by PayPal or credit card. Click next. So I'm going to click next. And now it will take me here where I've got a summary of how much it will cost me, $49.95, and that is total price per year, only $49.95. Click pay now. And this should take you to the processing company right here. So this is what you will see. It says here, pay with my PayPal account. If you have a PayPal account, you can use your email address and your password and click login and you can pay that way. If you do not wish to pay through PayPal, then click here, don't have a PayPal account and it will take you to a credit card processing center where you can enter, see, your credit card information right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this and I'm going to fill in my credit card information and all this uh, good stuff here. And then I will come back and, and then review and continue so that all this is typed in, but so that you do not see my personal information. 
Okay, so give me two seconds and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I've typed in all my information. Credit card information is way up there. I'm going to click review and continue and let's see what happens at this point. Oh, okay, it takes me to the pay now page. I'm going to click pay now and let's see where that takes me now. Okay, now, well, this is an extra step. In case you would like to create a PayPal account, it gives you that option. In my case, I do not want to create a PayPal account. Instead, I'm going to go here and say no thanks. And then it says, Arliss, you just completed your payment. It's done. Return to yes to Christmas.com. That's exactly what I'm going to do so that I can show you what it looks like. It says, thank you for your order, your payment, etc. Although, okay, I'm going to say, okay. And now it takes you back to your back page, your administration page. And it says, PayPal has returned payment success. You've completed everything you've needed to do. Now, you go back to manage. Remember I told you that you go back to add your listing? Now you manage because you've already added it. So click manage so that you can see that your ETL site is here. It's pending right now. Just give it a few seconds for the system to kick in. And uh, I'm going to pause this for a second again and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Notice that after you made your payment, it says here active, ETL signs and active. So let's see if it is active or not. Let's go to, uh, let's see, let's go here to yes to Christmas.com and let's go to the very top keyword and I'm going to write ETO because those, that was one of the keywords we put in. You click here and search and let's see what happens. Okay, look at this, etlscience.com. What is the, with the, this is your description, I mean, uh, uh, your little summary here. And then if you click here or here, you'll go to the uh, complete description. Right below, you've got your uh, phone. Click to see it. Click to see the facts. Click to see the website. If you click here, you'll go to etlscience.com. Uh, okay, so let's click the picture and let's see the complete ad and see what it looks like. Okay, there is your summary with uh, your phone facts and website All you have to do is click to see them here are your, your pictures notice notice that it says click here for slideshow so click for the slideshow and boom there is your slideshow with with the pictures that you put in a little problem with that one that's okay we can always go back and work uh, replace them and until you find a picture that works well i think these may have been too large for the slideshow let's try one more time and see what happens once in a while this will happen if it does go back put in new pictures okay so that's what i think uh, i will have to do here but not a problem but look your video is there and notice although that uh, although we cut the width to 325 the height is still a little too large because you've got a picture there but i'll show you how to go back on the website now and trim that but for now take a look the introduction there's your picture and with everything that you copied etc and it's all there uh, very very beautiful okay so let's go back and trim this picture some so uh, this video so that it goes up there okay so you'll go back to the site click uh, on you, if you're already there you can click here but if you're not and you have to sign in back in remember that you will go to add your listing and manage and it'll bring you back to this page click etlscience.com and click here where it says edit information now go into your embedded code right here. Remember that, uh, let's see, let's find it. All right, there's the embedded code. And it says 325, that's fine. That's the one we changed, but the height up and down is still too large. So we're gonna change 360, say to 325. Let's do that and see what happens. And then you click submit. And it should go live immediately. So let's see if it does. Okay, it's gone. Uh, let's go back to yes to the work website okay and all you need to do is right here refresh your page or you can go back to here and write in ETO click search and the new one should come up again here there's your picture click on it and let's see if the video trimmed okay it needs it still needs to be trimmed a little more so what you would do is you go back and you would uh, the height you would make it even smaller so let's do that ETL science sometimes you know you have to do this edit information 
and you go to your embedded code and right over here the height let's do the height say 300 instead of 325 and click submit okay then it's done go back to your site here this time to make it quicker I'm just going to refresh the page right here and let's take another look alright see how it got smaller so we still need to trim the size even more so go back click etlscience.com and go back to uh, to the embedded code right? internet connection a little slow there it is okay click edit information and then go back down to the embedded code let's change the height this time just for sake so we don't have to do this, this again go to 275 and go back down and click submit alright and then go back to your site go back and refresh it right here or you can go back and do the ETO see so notice how it even got smaller now now you can see the picture without having to have that here and if you were to click on it let's take a look there you are there's your video everything beautiful okay and notice that it's the videos let me pause it notice that it's uh, taking there's some wording here so you might have to trim it even some more and go from instead of 275 maybe try going to 250 etc and you will see how your video will fit right in so you have to play with it once in a while okay let's go back over here and now let's go back to the website etc so now I'm going to run you through a scenario I'm a customer I'm in the mood for Christmas and I want to visit a place that has a uh, business that has that decorates for Christmas so I'm going to uh, let's say just type in deliver and see what comes up let's see if anything comes up under that keyword oops yeah deliver my food now so I, I can either call them or visit that restaurant so I want to know a little bit more about it I click there and boom there is the ad with all the information I need about deliverymyfood.com and if I want to visit there the address uh, they they don't list it here because this is obviously a delivery service but if it had an address and you're in the mood for Christmas uh, then you would visit it because they decorate that's all we're saying and we're giving you the opportunity to know who decorates for Christmas so that you can keep that spirit uh, of the season going as you uh, uh, approach Christmas okay so now you've learned how to create a business and creating a club member is only ten dollars a year what does a club member do okay that's since it's only ten dollars a year you can put in your name and the city and state that you are uh, uh, in and then you that will uh, automatically allow you to pick up the coupons just by logging into your admin page which you also get one getting the coupons that the different businesses put up uh, but to get those coupons you have to be a club member ten dollars a year and that's all the business remember was 49.95 okay so now you've learned how to do it and I am happy that uh, you are joining us thank you very much and Merry Christmas let's go down here and give it a stop let's see if we can stop this okay we're ready to go